So Phil, what are you up to? Well, today is Monday, June 24th, 2024, and we are downtown Amaros. And um, I'm going to take you out for lunch. Mm, okay, let's go. Where are we going? Surprise, surprise. Okay, let's go. Hey Vika, what is Rumachnaya? I noticed the old style Rumachnaya is back. Back in the Soviet Union times, there were some places where you could get like a, a shot of drink and a quick bite and just, I don't know, run or meet your friends there. And then they disappeared and now they're back. See, they, even the writing, the writing is like our old, old fashioned. I service. see that. Yeah, it yeah. looks a bit different. Yeah. There's one more thing that I noticed. There uh -huh. is, we used to have a beer fest right there. On the yellow, and now it yeah, says now full. It says it's a full Vietnamese. Season. It says Pan Asian restaurant. Things are changing, changing. Do you know this building? What's this? Yves Rocher, France? No, this whole building. No, what is it? The whole building. It used to be a German uh, trading center. German. Okay. There were two German brothers that built this. Uh -huh. Okay. Wow, nice building. Did I tell you about the tiles, the history behind the tiles? No. In the 90s, uh, when they were doing the reconstruction of this whole street, they started taking off the asphalt that yeah. was um, on the ground. Yeah. And they discovered the old tiles from the 19th century. So that these ones right here? They were covered with asphalt. Yeah. Really? So they restored them. Yep. Well. Well, let's keep going. Let's walk on them. So we're walking on history right now. Yeah, that's right. So these tiles are probably what, a hundred years old, more? From the 19th century, I don't know exactly. Well, how old is Habarovsk? Habarovsk is 160. 100. From 1858. <laughs> Something like that. Okay, so it's quite old. Yep. And we're walking probably on these that were made maybe in the 1880s. Probably. Yeah. Huh. Hey, is this a McDonald's right in front of us? Sort of. Let's turn the camera around. I'll show you. Yep. This is McDonald's, but it's called a Fkusne Twitchka. So there is KFC next next to it. There's a KFC and a McDonald's. Yep. But I'm not gonna take it to no KFC, no McDonald's. I hope so. We're going to keep walking. This is where I'm going to take you. It's called Leba Mass. Yay. It's a little burger joint. It's actually really good burgers. And, um, let's go check it out. Come on. Never be in here. Yep. I'll take you out for lunch. Okay. So, Vika, what do you think of this menu? The menu is very interesting. Take a look at this. Yeah. These are all burgers, but this one is from Steven Tyler. Yeah. From Heisenberg. Who is Heisenberg? I don't know. I don't know. Al Pacino. Okay. Burger. Yuri the Professional Burger. Uh -huh. Coco Chanel Burger. Chicken Burger. Okay. Kurach Karyaba, that's a character from a cartoon. Uh -huh. From Yoda. A Yoda Star Wars? Yeah. And, yeah. and this one is Let It Beesm. Let It Beesm. Like, like uh, Beatles? Let It Beesm? Okay, so what kind of burger are you going to get? I don't know. Okay. You want to we'll go, go outside? outside. Well, we'll wait here and then we'll go outside. Okay. So 
So there's your double double. Here's my double double. And we're still waiting on the French fries. Okay. 100% marble beef. So are you enjoying your burger? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So this cost us a thousand seventy rubles. That's about sixteen fifty Canadian. Yeah. But we're still waiting for our French fries. Okay, Vika, what are you doing? I can't choose a sauce for my uh, potatoes. What kind of sauces are there? Burger, Caesar, Gouda, Demi glass, buffalo, mushroom, honey mustard. Caesar, tomato, spicy. Wow. So you just load up what kind you want? Spicy tomato. I don't need much. And I'll get a uh, honey mustard. Whatever. So it's a potato, but I like it. Enough. So Vika, how do you like our... Uh, Lunch. Was good. Yeah, good burgers. Yeah. All right. So what are we gonna do now? Let's go down to the river. Go down to the river. Hey, this is a really nice building. Let's turn the camera on. We'll show you. Hey, Vika. You know what's really interesting? Back in 2006, when I first came here, or 2005, I. Uh, made a video with two of your students and we were actually walking right on this same very really? street. Really? There's only one street downtown. Well no, it's just that I remember the music video with these buildings right behind us. Yeah, they're kind of old. Yeah. That in front of us is the library, regional library. Oh hold on, let's turn the camera around. So what building is this? Library. Regional library. Wow, nice building. Mm -hmm. They're selling books here. Tourists. So Vika, what can you tell me about this church? Uh, it was destroyed in the Soviet Union times, but then it was rebuilt again. Is that real gold on there? Gold leaf? Very, very thin films of gold, yeah, are applied. Squares. I've seen on TV how it's done. Oh, wow. There's a city department store you can see from, from here. Oh, the oh, top. The Let's zoom dome. in. Yeah. That's the city department store. Yeah. So how and old is that building? I don't know. 100 years. Yeah. I think more. But if you walk, if you turn around, you can see the other church that was also destroyed in they say that you can be seen from China. That church can be seen from China? They say, so they say, yeah. And that behind you is the this olive colored building. Yeah. That's the pharmacy, also the first pharmacy in Khabarovsk. Apteka. Apteka, yeah. Pharmacy. And next to it, that red brick house. Yeah. That's the children's theater. It's for ch they play for children. Okay. Not movie theater. Theater, theater with actors. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. So where are we going now? Let's go to the river. Let's go. So Vika, what can you say about this monument? Well, as you know, after the revolution we had civil war. Okay. And uh, Khabarovsk was occupied by the Japanese. Vladivostok was occupied by Americans for one year. And this monument is to the young Komsomol members who were fighting oh, in wow. the civil war. So 1918 to 1922. Here we had uh, battles. I didn't even That's know a, that. 
uh, Far Eastern Geographic Society there also, old place. Oh, that, that building over there? Yep. Okay, well how far is the river from us? Right here. Well, let's That's go check cool. it out. So Vika, are there tourists that come to the Far East? Actually, they are behind you. Okay. So where do you think they're from? China, obviously China. It's the, usually those people who can't afford going to Europe, they go to Moscow, St. Petersburg. If you can't afford going to Moscow, to St. Petersburg, you go to Khabarovsk, Vladivostok, because it's closest here. Right, you go by the river. If you go oh, there's one the river. hour by the river, that will be the nearest big city. Okay, is there is there like a viewpoint or somewhere we can go and check out? I want it, but there is again there is renovation. Oh, so they're putting they're in new in, blocks. Putting new ones in. Okay. There's construction everywhere here. This is a very nice view. Yeah, well, it's better from that viewpoint, but we'll go to a different viewpoint. There's a better one. Oh, there is one. There's a cliff. There's a place where the first newcomers arrived at. Let's go. Okay, yeah, let's go check it out. <laughs> Chinese, they love Russian ice cream. Really? See, the guy was eating and laughing and you know, happy. Wow. Chinese people like Russian ice cream. I wonder why. It's very... I, I heard that... Um, just before the pandemic, lots of tourists, they were coming here to buy yogurts and sour cream. Really? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's not made there. In Korea, it was not. Right. So I could imagine that on the weekends, there's a lot of people that walk through here, but it's Monday afternoon. It's People are at work, yeah. But on the weekend, there's lots of people with... Oh, strollers on the bicycles with children families whole families come here for like a stroll it's a long long walk along the river the river is the Amur river it's the largest river in the far east one of the largest in russia right ah, lilac the white lilac white the, lilacs the purple lilac was about two weeks ago and this is the second kind oh, i could really it's smell it right now it's very fragrant don't we have one at our dacha yeah we do i'm still waiting for it to start blooming <laughs> it reminds me of my grandma she used to have it was it this tall i mean it, this is yes, a huge lilac big. it was behind the fence of her house yeah Didn't uh, somebody say, uh, ask you if we have any bears in the city? Bear, uh, bear yeah, bears. in one of the tigers. comments. Yeah. Tigers and bears. Okay, for all the viewers out there that are wondering, are there any bears on the, the streets? Notorious Khabarovsk tigers and bears. Well, bears. here's a bear, mama bear with a couple cubs. So what's this? Ah... So they're, they don't want to ruin the, I don't know what the Maybe cobblestone. Maybe they're bringing something heavy here. Yeah. Oh, it's for the machinery, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they don't destroy the the cobblestones that are here. Bricks. Go to the cliff. Okay. These are the bushes that I planted by in our dacha. We planted bushes, Along I guess? The, our neighbors. They're going to grow tall. Yeah. Green. I planted so, green and purple. So anywhere you look it gives you reminders of our dacha. I never paid attention, yeah. <laughs> and now it's like, that's in our dacha, that's in our dacha. Are we ever going to get some light posts in our dacha? Are we going to get some light posts like that? Uh? <laughs> if you take a boat, what were you saying? There's an announcement. There was just an announcement. There's a river boat that can take you along to the um, bridge. The oh, the one that's on the 5,000 ruble. With music, with drinks and snacks and stuff. So the bridge that's on the 5,000 ruble Russian that's right, yes. currency. Yeah, yeah. Okay. There oh, so what? It's like a party boat? It's cool. 
Far Water. Yeah, I used to there used to be discos there when I was young, in the nineties, yeah. We used to go there. And the first horror movie I watched there is they showed uh, horror movies like a horror on movie the, on what, what do you call them? VR H VHS chess, yeah. It was like a, on the second level there was a TV and people could watch. It was the what's the name of the movie with the claws? The uh, Edward Scissorhands? No, that's not horror. Okay. The with the claws. The um, street. The, the gun Nightmare street. on Elm Street. Freddy yeah, Krueger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, can you imagine if they had a Titanic movie while you're on a river boat? No, the or the boat is only one hour, and Titanic is forever. <laughs> that's right. Okay. Or the Poseidon movie i've never seen i don't know what you never know. seen it no it's a disaster movie I don't know. about water and stuff okay let's go because i'm gonna try to okay let's go to meet our son in an hour so vika what does the sign say <laughs> it says thank you very much for treating our nature with care meaning don't walk on grass <laughs> oops Well, it's written in Russian. Yes, it is. So I guess the tourists are exempt because they can't read. Oh, well, that's very sad. We should tell them to write in English too. Maybe and Chinese and... Other side? Oh, is it in English? No, it's in Russian too. Same. What does it say in Russian, actually? Uh, please treat our gazon, Kila, gazon, our lawn with care. So, по-русски, как читать? Благодарим вас за бережное отношение к газонам. Gazon, I think and I'm on the grass. Okay. Yes, that's not right. No. Hey, Vika, what's this uh, pink building right here? This pink building is the uh, uh, president representative office. Okay. You can make an appointment and complain or talk with people if, if there's an issue. This is. And so it's right here along the riverbank. Yeah, and this is Khabarovsk Philharmonic orchestra oh but these are reverse sides <laughs> right we're on the back side in the back yeah it's in the front and that is the regional museum this is the build the modern building and there is the old building behind it so vika what tell me about this amphitheater well if there are any festivals or fairs happening which see we have a stall left over from the spring fair uh -huh. Amour Fest, it's called. Okay. Um, some sort of concerts happen. Like schools usually send their representatives from schools or music schools. And at the weekends, there is an orchestra and people dance older, usually older people, they come dance here. So, what kind of music? Like Russian music or? Old people music, you know, waltz or tangos or okay. like famous songs. Not Tchaikovsky. Could be chicos depending on the orchestra if it's philharmonic orchestra they're gonna play uh, classical music right if it's a uh, smaller yeah. and people bring their own chairs and stuff or no, you they could... bring the city brings the chairs the art there are benches here see? okay yeah and over there see that white monument there's yeah a, there's a collection of old uh soviet monuments there it's behind this museum well we'll have to check that out in the next video yeah we're still going to the cliff which i am suspicious is under repair Really? Yeah, well, let's go find out. I see some Korean writing and Russian writing, something 2001, July 17th. So what is this? Yeah, this rock used to be standing over there. They moved it. It says, Генеральный секретарь Трудовой партии Кореи, председатель Государственного комитета оборот Корейской Народной Союзной. Ким Чен Ир was here in 2001. Wow, so... North Korean. Yeah, it was there. Now it's here. Ah, uh, so it was up over there. Yeah. Speaking of, it is under reconstruction. So this, this is, is the, the viewpoint. You can walk there, see the river. Look to the right. Look to the left. You can pretty, pretty much you can see this whole city, but it's yeah, too bad. What's this big, huge monument? This is the first. Uh, governor. What's his name? Muravyov Amursky. Okay. 1891. He is, he is the 
5,000 ruble, there's a bridge, right? Yeah. And there's the guy who is standing like this. That's uh -huh. the guy. The uh -huh. first governor of the Far East. Okay. Wow, these are some pretty old cannons here. Vika, what's with the cannons here? Well, they are right now, they're just uh, museum exhibits. Yeah. See, the museum is behind me, that old building, old red, this red building. Red, that's the museum. Okay. With uh, a tractor, but, even. Well, it's also an exhibit. Okay. But Khabarovsk was established as a military post originally. And okay. then it grew into a village, and then it grew into the city. Oh, wow. These are old, old cannons. By the way, do you know Chikalov? No. Is it name familiar? He was the first pilot that flew across the Atlantic. Uh, he was met in New York. There are pictures like he is. In I New thought York. Charles Lindbergh was the first guy. Nineteen twenty-seven. Across the Pacific or something like that. Or maybe across the Pacific. Yeah, he stopped here. Ah, right. On his way, he went from Moscow, stopped here, and then he flew across the Pacific to New York. Oh wow. Well. His monument is here. More cannons. That's what people used to shoot with. Let's go check out the old Soviet statues. Okay. Well, this is a pretty cool tractor. Look at this with the wheels, all metal. Oh, the crank. Oh yeah, and who made it? Khatz. Do you know this company? I think it is Kharkovsky Traktor Zavod. I can't think of any other. You mean this is uh, like current Ukrainian? Well, aren't they famous for Kharkov? Yeah, but Kharkov. Factory. Well. Well, Kharkov was a Russian city. Okay. This is what the beginning of the twentieth century. So Vika, what can you tell me about those white statues that we're going to come up to? Well, they used to be along the river. These are the most stereotypical Soviet statues. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Check it out. I see the woman with the paddle, uh, young Lenin. That's where the this, standing. Okay, that's a young Lenin? Yeah. The young pioneer girl that's reading a book. Education is very important. The young pioneers with the horn. I think we're getting too far ahead of ourselves. So this right here in front of us. Young Lenin. Young Lenin. And right behind the, the woman with the paddle. Sport is very important. Okay. And Breathing this is very important too. Okay. Soviet Union. Most important thing. What about these guys? Young pioneers, they should they help each other and help other people around. Okay. Science. What about this? The white dove representative of peace. Oh, uh, okay. And this? Uh, teacher and uh, schoolgirl. And, and adult Lenin. Lenin. Who is older. Okay, we just made a circle. So Vika, what's this building that we're looking at right now? That's the front of the Philharmonic Orchestra. Ah, okay. Building. And to the right is the military uh, museum you went to. Your place. Ah, this is the red one right here. Vika, what are those two buildings right over there in front of us? Oh, those are fancy schmancy apartment buildings. Okay. Overlooking the river. That's where our kids' school is. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're right back at this church, and I noticed something interesting. 
it says Christos Vaskres. So Vika, what does Christos Vaskres mean? Uh, Jesus Christ has resurrected. Oh. It's for Easter, the Easter saying. Ah. Christos Vaskres, why Easter no Vaskres? Vaskresie, actually, it's what we have to say, the old Russian. It's a pretty cool church. Now, this is not the biggest one. The biggest one is about a kilometer from here. That's the one you were looking at. Yeah, yeah, yeah earlier. Can anybody go inside this church? You can go. Take off your hat. Uh, well, we get... actually, we're in a bit of a time crunch. Uh, we'll... I have to wear a scarf. Women oh, really? cover their hair. Okay. I don't have any. Okay. Well, I guess that's a video for next time.